CNN, and I know we do have some newer-ish faces, so I'll go ahead and let you know what we're doing here today. This is Coffee News and Networking, and this is where our chamber members get to come in and talk about a brag or a brief or something going on in their business, and then afterwards we go and put it on the radio, in the journal, e-blast, Facebook, pretty much anywhere we can find it in town to, if, we, if we've missed an area, let us know. So anywhere we can get it out, we want to get it out for you. But of course, the best part is we always start off with a host each week, so that way we get to go visit a new business and get to see what's going on and happening there. And so we're going to start it off today with Leadership Coffeeville, and they're going to tell us about what's going on with that organization, some exciting class stuff, get ready to start. And we're here in the Coffeeville Recreation Building, and so David gets to wear two hats today to welcome us. So I'm going to turn it over to you. Thank you. Well, welcome. Um, I hope you're cozy in here this morning. Uh, it's a little chilly when I walk in, so thank you for coming. Um, this is the Recreation Activity Center, and this is the Recreation Commission's hub of where we operate out of. Um, it's starting to heat up again. We have football starting and cheer and volleyball and soccer. Um, so we had about a week or two to catch our breaths, and then fair and rodeo hit, so um, we're back at it. But I'm also president of Leadership Coffeeville. Um, it's an initiative that was formed, uh, they started back in 1986, um, just as a way to how can we better provide leadership training to the people within our community, and not only that, teach them about the community. Um, just going back, I came to town in 2001, class of 2006 of Leadership Coffeeville, so I spent five years here. Um, I thought I knew the community pretty well until I went through Leadership Coffeeville and found out how much I didn't know about the community. So I'm really glad that I went through the class. Um, still have relationships with people I went through our class with. Um, Lisa Keene was a class member of mine. I talked her into being on my board down the line for eight years. So um, what, is it, what do we do? Well, we have two facilitators that teach leadership skills, Lisa Keene, Justin Doan. Um, it is a nine session class. Nine session, there are two other, uh, we have a social, that we're going to have this year and, and a trip to Topeka um, to confer with our legislators, which is new this year and exciting because um, I think it's important. And, and you know, my wife teaches down here and there's, it's, it amazes me how many kids don't know where Topeka, Kansas is or what goes on up there. Um, and there could be some adults that same way, hey, what goes on in Topeka? Um, I mean, we hear the things of what's in the newspaper about, you know, funding and things of that nature. but. Uh, it's going to be exciting to take that trip up to Topeka and, and hopefully we get to talk with those who represent us down here in Southeast Kansas. I think we hopefully will. Um, but also it's going to be an eye opener about what goes on up there. Um, what else do we do? Leadership Coffee Bill. Um, we take tours. We, we see what's in industry, what's in business. I, I remember how shocked I was when we went out to John Deere. Okay, I said, yeah, I knew it was John Deere, but once you're inside the building and see the magnitude of what goes on there, it gives you a new appreciation for our business and industry. Not only that, you know, our hospitals as well, our educational systems, our schools, um, our quality of life, you know, we get to see a little bit about the building you're in now and, and what we do. We don't just roll out balls and tell kids to go play. There's more to what we do than just that component of it. So. Um, I will turn it over, and, and I need, there are board members here from Leadership Coffee, so if you would please stand, please, and be recognized, and facilitators as well. Thank you, Marcy Roberts, Roy Cole. I'm going to call you Chelsea Beaver forever, but you're Chelsea Martin, Justin Dome, Lisa Keen, and the Westwood. So thank you guys for coming today, and I will turn it over to Lisa Keen, one of our facilitators, and she can uh, tell you a little bit more about the program. And David did a great job, so I don't feel like I need to take a whole lot of time. But I did want to say, so this year we're doing things a little bit differently. If you've been a part of a class before, we've always usually met in the afternoons. Uh, we have flipped that schedule this year, and the intention of that is that we will cover the curriculum for the class in the morning, and the tours will start right after lunch. Um, our hope is that we can draw in folks from not just Coffeeville by doing that, but we might pull some folks in from Cherryville, Caney, um, other places in the county that don't have a leadership program to serve them and open our doors to them. So um, I get asked all the time who can apply for Leadership Coffee Bill. It's really open to anyone. We believe that leadership is an activity, not a position. So if you are curious about leadership training or if you want to get more involved in your community and maybe just need a little bit of help on how to do that, this really 
is designed for you. Uh, it was kind of the program that kickstarts a lot of civil um, civic service. So for me, it kind of got me ready to serve on, on David's board and also on some other boards that I've been a part of and gave me a little bit of tools to manage that and figure out how to get things done. How to sit around a table and not all agree, but still move forward. You know, those are some of the things that we talk about. And then we do some leadership training that really can work in your workplace as well. If you um, manage employees or have folks that you work with beside and those kind of things, it, it's good for that. So we're taking applications until September 7th. So if you know of somebody who wants to apply, the application as well as the brochure that I handed out are on our website. Uh, you can also find information on our Facebook page and my contact information is pretty much everywhere I feel like. So if you need to contact me and get an application or have questions, just ask me. So I think that's it.